Welcome back friends. In this video we will actually look at the various end resources for Automation Studio. Uh, they're also known as starting sources. Now Automation Studio uh, is primarily used for configuring one or more marketing or data management processes in Salesforce Marketing Cloud and then we can you know automate them for reuse right so uh, each automation that you configure it always has a starting source it's probably it, what triggers or like you know that that event or that automation right and then it has a, a series of uh, steps that it will execute one after the other uh, or sometimes even concurrently which is these activities that you see here right so the two type of type of um, starting sources that we have here one is schedule and one is file drop Schedule is nothing but like you know you want to configure it based on uh, some time or a schedule, right? Do you want to like you know do it once, or do you want to like you know hourly, daily, weekly, yearly? Like you can configure the time, uh, how recurring do you want it to this particular automation to run, right? Uh, the other one is like file drop. File drop is primarily based off of a, a file being dropped uh, into your enhanced FTP. So every marketing cloud account uh, has a, an FTP that's that's provided along with it. And then you have FTP users uh, set up, like you know, the admin would have details on that. So you can configure like in you know, a file drop automations. File drop is also known as triggered automation. So on the exams and like you know, sometimes people refer to it as like you know, triggered automation or file drop. So uh, anytime somebody refers to it as triggered automation, which is quite different from triggered sense, uh, that is something totally different. That which which will be when we look at email. Uh, sending uh, the we refer to as e uh, triggered sense but in, in automation anytime we refer to as triggered it actually means triggered automation so it's the same as the file drop and uh, as soon as a file is actually dropped into a folder with a specific configuration uh, then this automation kicks off so that is uh, uh, the, the two starting sources that we have uh, for automation workflows uh, in the next video, uh, we will actually look at like each of these options in details and how to configure them. But uh, before we start with file drop, uh, we need to also look at like how do we configure the various file locations in Marketing Cloud? Because we will be using these file locations, the FTP and a few other locations within Marketing Cloud. Uh, we will be using them in the file drop as well as in some of these activities and when we configure them. Okay, thank you for watching.